On Monday.com, you have complete control over who can view or edit data. Today, we'll go over some of the different levels of permissions available as you build out your account. Here we've created an employee directory as a main board, one of the three board types available. Board owners, added and managed from here, are able to dictate what information can be viewed and edited on a board. Find the board permission settings from the menu here. Viewing permissions allow you to adjust who can see data on your board, while editing permissions allow you to control who can edit the board's data. With each selected option, the summary breaks down what can be changed by non-owners, leaving you nothing to question. Let's take things a step further. Using column permissions, I can hide sensitive data from all board members and share it only with those that I specify here. So now, even though everyone can see the main board, only these two are able to see the salary column itself. How cool is that? For dashboards, you've got two types. Main, visible to everyone in the account, and private, visible to only those that you invite. And as for editing, only dashboard owners can change the contents inside. Add members from the share menu and toggle ownership by clicking the crown. Easy. Similar settings exist for WorkDocs. You've got the WorkDoc types, and then editing permissions controlled from the share menu here. Toggling ownership for members you invite ties into the editing permissions below. To restrict access for a group of boards and dashboards in one fell swoop, enterprise accounts can switch an entire workspace to closed. Piggybacking off of that, dive deeper to control all actions in a given workspace with these workspace permissions. Enterprise customers can find the account permissions within the Administration tab from the Avatar menu. With account permissions, customize the specific permissions you want each user type to have. And what's more, you can create custom roles on Monday.com. Just pick an existing role to inherit permissions from, and then customize permissions to suit the job. From there, navigate to the User Management section and simply select the role from the dropdown. How cool is that? And that'll about do it. We went over a lot in this video, but we could have gone even more in depth. With that in mind, click on one of the videos linked here for a deeper dive into specific permissions on Monday.com. Bye for now.